Good morning. I thought I would make a little vlog. I have a cup of coffee. I am off to Vardit, of all places. And I'm going to take a bus. It's work related and yeah, thought I would take you along with me on my day. I've been here at the library for work. <laughs> for today I am walking home and listening to podcasts on canny still I talked about this podcast earlier in another video and I'm still really enjoying it I'm now season two they're currently on season three and I just love like the old spooky stories I as I said in my previous video I don't believe in like the supernatural not in God not in angels, not in ghosts. UFOs? Not quite sure. It depends on how you define UFO. An unidentified flying object. Well, it's an unidentified flying object, so of course, but aliens? Not so sure. Anyway, I am going to walk home, listen to Uncanny, and then make dinner I guess and then at some point probably do a little bit of reading hopefully because I started reading Kvit Like or Whiteness by Jon Fosse and I'm really enjoying it. His language is amazing. Listening to that tape job, that does not sound like the regular Colonel Charles told to me. That sounds like somebody who is seriously rattled here. What are you thinking in that moment? I'm thinking, wish I hadn't come out here. I didn't know how to react. I'm telling you, it really unnerved me.
I have just finished Whiteness by Jon Fosse, or I think the English title would be Whiteness. It's quite like in Norwegian, and it means whiteness. And the whiteness refers to the color, of course, and but also. I guess a sort of atmosphere. There's like this really icy atmosphere in this book. There's like loads of snow. You know, when you go into the woods during winter and there's this really, really, really blending white still atmosphere. And especially if it's dark, what you see is the the whiteness of the snow and there's that's pretty much the light you have because there's lots of trees and in this book there's this person who drives into the woods and then he gets stuck and he can't get away from the woods and he goes out of the car and starts looking for people to help him and he doesn't really find anyone or he does find someone kind of but I'm not going into more details because it's a very, very, very thin book. And if I go into details, I think I would spoil it. And I don't want to do that. But it's such a brilliant book, even though it's so small. And I really enjoyed it. And I think his language especially is so amazing. It's poetic in many ways. And very... Yeah, very, uh, I can't really explain in English, I'm afraid, but it's really brilliant and I need to read more by him. I previously read a couple of books by the author and I'm definitely going to read more. And I have to say, as a Norwegian, I'm super proud that Jon Fosse won the Nobel Literature Prize this year. Winning the Nobel Literature Prize is a huge deal. I mean, it's one of the biggest literature prizes you can get. And it doesn't really happen very often that a Norwegian wins this prize, of course. Uh, it's not a very big shock, maybe, because it's a very small country and there's not that many renowned authors, at least not renowned outside of Norway. There's some, like Jan... Uh, what's his what's his face? <laughs> I've forgotten his name. Knausgård. Karl Uwe Knausgård. And uh, he's a really well-known author, and I know a lot of people who really like him as well. But personally, I don't like him at all. I find him really boring, and I can see that his writing style and his language is really good, but it doesn't give me that extra that Jon Foster does. He has this poetry in his book at the same time as he's telling a story. And there might not be happening a lot all of the time, but it's still there's something there. And especially in this this um, this book, it's kind of it's kind of verging into like the supernatural in my opinion. There's like these these points where you don't really know is this real or is it not real is there actually someone there or is there something else is there what's there and things like that and it's kind of at least for me it was kind of gripping me it's kind of hard to explain but i really 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 liked it and with the like the poetic language it's so mm, so good so as he is a winner of the Nobel Prize of Literature, I can safely say there are books by him translated into English. This book is not translated into English yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be, I hope. So, so far it just came out in Norwegian and, and it came out this year, so it's not a very old book. And his most well known for the septology, I guess. I've read the two first books. There's three books in the septology, which sounds a bit strange, but there's three books and I've read the two first books and I will for sure read the third book. I just haven't gotten that far yet. Also, that book is in one of my books. That's in one of my boxes was what I was going to say. 
and highly recommend reading Jomfosse. And I guess that's it for today's video, or at least I'm going to end here on a positive reading note. And I guess I will see you in my next video.